Hi everyone, this is Simcoe Vitovic from Firefly Sci, and today we're going to be going over how to use a UV Viz spectrophotometer. So today I'm going to be using our semi micro cuvette, and the first thing I'm going to do is take a visual inspection of the cuvette to make sure the inside and outside are perfectly clean. Any types of dust, dirt, fingerprints will distort the measurements. If you do see any buildup or residue, you can take one of these cleaning swabs that I have over here and gently rub the inside walls. I dip this swab in some alcohol and this usually removes any mild stains. Now if you want to quickly dry it after using the alcohol, you could just use a can of compressed air and just give it a quick shot in the cuvette here. And that just takes like a second to dry. Once you check the inside, you should also check the outside to make sure that there's nothing on the outside, most likely fingerprints. And I'll just take a lens cloth here and just gently rub the windows here. Okay, and this looks pretty good. This looks like we're ready to go. Okay, and now I'm going to prepare a water blank for this experiment. So what I'll do now is insert the quartz cube out filled with the water into the sample holder and now we'll zero the machine. So what we've just done is tell the machine to ignore the cuvette in the water and only give us the absorbance for our test sample. Since our test sample is mixed with water, we want to make sure we eliminate the water element. Now I'll inject some of our sample into an empty cuvette. Once the cuvette is filled up, you can put either the cap or we have a stopper in this case on the cuvette. Make sure that none of that sample gets out. It's really important to use a cuvette holder when you're injecting the sample because this gives you much more stability than just leaving the cuvette on the lab bench like that. You can accidentally tip it over, which this, you know, it's almost impossible to tip it over when it's in the cuvette rack. Another important note is to always fill up the cuvette when it's outside of the spectrophotometer. Next, we'll put the sample in the cell holder of our machine. When handling cuvettes, always make sure to pick them up by the sides. Just close the lid and take the measurement. So thanks again for checking out the video. If you have any questions on how to use a spectrophotometer, please shoot us an email at info at fireflyside.com. Uh, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up on the video and we'll see you next time.